Hello students, this is part 2 of the lesson food, essence of life. You have answered the questions, haven't you? In the previous part, we had some questions we, need to, we needed to answer and we have answered them. Some statements about the factors which decide the food we take are given. Observe. Although we are of the same state, the food system is on the basis of the climate and the food materials which are available or grown in the region we live in. So even though we are all from the same state, the food system is decided on the basis of the climate, okay, so on the climate and the food materials which are available to us in the region. Okay, and the food which we eat is decided by the tradition or beliefs of the particular family. So your food might be different from that of your friends. This is because our food system is also dependent on the tradition or beliefs of our particular family. And our food changes according to the seasons like summer, rainy and winter. So we also listed out our different food during different season and it changes according to the season. Although these aspects influence our food, nowadays our food habits are becoming similar. So nowadays our food habit, habits might not be very different even though we are from different regions. Why is that the case? Observe the following pictures. So, in the first picture, we have a recipe to prepare capsicum bath. So, this kind of recipes we can get in magazines. We can also get in different websites on the internet. In the next picture, we have a cooking channel which is showing us the detailed preparation procedure of some food item. In the next picture, we have an app on our phone which is also able to show us different recipes. In the fourth picture, it is a new taste cookery book, which is a book that is dedicated to giving us recipes of food items. The above factors are responsible for the change in our food habits. They can be described as follows. Magazines or advertisements, cooking related programs that are telecasted in television, channels and radio, the new food habits have become common due to the use of internet in mobile phones and computers. We also saw cookery books. Due to the influence of the factors mentioned above, our food habits have changed as follows. Consumption of food items like pizza, burger, sauce, samosa, cornflakes, soup, noodles, ice cream, chocolate chips, have increased instead of consuming nutritious homemade food. Some of them are considered junk food. So, you might have observed that in the recent days, we are consuming more and more of outside food and we are consuming more of fast food or junk food like pizzas, burgers, etc. Know this. Junk food means the food material which has less nutritional value or is unnecessary from the health point of view. So, junk food includes those food materials that we consume mainly for the taste of them. Okay. The next activity is think. Junk food is not good for health. Why? We have learned that junk food is that food that has less or no nutritional value. Also, it is unnecessary for our body from the health point of view. So, we eat junk food only for its taste. This will not help us get a balanced diet. That is why junk food is not good for health. Consuming sauce-rich food like Gobi Manchurian, Pani Puri, Chinese food has become common. The sauce contains certain chemicals which make the food tastier. 
So these food items, they will contain chemicals in them to help the food become more tasty. These chemicals are not good for the body at all. They might cause dangerous effects if we eat them. Consuming the outside food instead of homemade food is on increase today. And use of ready-made food items is increasing in the mechanical life of city or town. Eating fast food is an example for this. So, they are telling us that we are increasingly consuming more and more ready-made food items, junk food items and fast food items. The next activity is think. What is fast food? One definition of fast food is food that is mass produced. Okay, so fast food is usually mass produced. Mass production means there is no attention given to individual units of the food. If you consider, for example, pizzas, burgers, etc., they are produced in factories in mass. Okay, and the food is intended for fast service. So, fast food is intended for fast service. The effect of change in food habits are, so people may fall sick easily. This is because our body is not getting the nutrients that it needs. Poisonous chemicals entered the body due to the intake of tasty food instead of healthy food. So, we learned that the tasty food contains some chemicals in it to make the food tastier. These chemicals might be poisonous to the body and they may enter the body during the intake of this food. The next effect is body is losing its power to fight diseases. And consumption of spicy and junk food has been has given rise to obesity problems. So nowadays due to the large scale consumption of junk food which has less nutritional values but high fat values there is a rising problem of obesity. Obesity is when our weight increases disproportionately to our height. Next activity is which type of food should we eat? Discuss with your friends about this. So, like we have learned, we need a balanced diet to ensure that we are getting all the nutrients. And also, we need to eat homemade food to avoid intake of any chemicals that are present in outside food. So, we need to take in balanced homemade food. Ready-made food packets. The next section we talk about the ready-made food packets. Nowadays food we eat is now available in packets. So you might remember there is a lot of items like ready to eat, ready-made food packet, just add water, two minutes to prepare. Okay so while buying them you have to observe the following points. Firstly we have to observe the date of manufacture and expiry dates. Expiry date is the date that is prescribed by the manufacturer which says this food is not to be consumed after that date. Next, you should also pay attention to the ingredients added to the stuff and the quantity of the chemicals. Okay, and we should Take note of the temperature that is needed to preserve the packet. So, these ready-made foods typically would require lower temperatures so that they do not get spoiled. So, we need to take into consideration these three things, date of manufacture and expiry date, the list of ingredients and the temperature need to be preserving the packet. I will show you an example where we can see this. Firstly, we can see the manufacturing date here, which is 20th October 2016 and the expiration date given is October of 2017. Okay, so this cannot be consumed after the 19th of October 2017. Next, let us look at the list of ingredient in a noodles packet. So, here we can see that there is a list of ingredients for the noodles and the separate ingredients for the 
masala and you need to go through this one by one whenever you are trying to buy a new packet of anything another important point i want to mention is in most of the food packets manufactured in india we will have either a green dot or a red dot so a green dot symbolizes that it's a vegetarian food product whereas a red dot symbolizes it's not a vegetarian or it's a non vegetarian food product so in case there is a temperature that is needed to be uh, followed by us to store the food packet it will also be given along with the list of ingredients it is dangerous to eat food stuff which have expired or consist of a lot of added chemicals so the reason why most of the food stuff has an expiration date is because after that expiration date it becomes dangerous to eat that food also we need to be very careful when we are looking at the list of ingredients to avoid eating anything with a lot of added chemicals in it next we will move on to a very important part of this lesson that is wasting of food we have learned that it is so difficult to harvest and cultivate food crops and we have also learned how important good food is to our body so now we will look into how food is being wasted and what we should do to completely stop wasting of food we can see here in the photos that food being wasted here and there in these pictures throwing away of food which is worth consuming is called as wasting of food so you can see in these pictures how food is being wasted in maybe it is in functions maybe it is in some parties etc if you see here a lot of food which could have been consumed is wasted next activity is food is being wasted in many circumstances with the help of your teacher list out the situation and the reason for which food is being wasted i have given three examples where food is wasted the first one like we learned in functions like weddings is if too much food is prepared if too much food is prepared not taking into consideration how many people are attending and how much they can consume if a surplus is prepared then that food will be thrown away or wasted next if during the preparation of food if food gets contaminated due to like negligence say if the food is prepared and left open and something falls into it this food is wasted due to negligence and cannot be consumed the next is daily surplus at our homes so this is one thing that we can avoid whenever we are consuming food we should serve ourselves only how much we need and not more if we do this we can make sure that we are not wasting food which can be consumed in this section we will be talking about how we can preserve food materials it is important to preserve our food and food stuffs without wasting and spoiling them nowadays food stuffs are preserved by the following some of the methods they are we know the taste of pickles salt is added to it in order to avoid spoiling for many days chemicals like sugar are used to preserve fresh fruits so if too much salt is added to pickles then it will make sure that the pickles do not go bad for long time for food like fresh fruits which we cannot add salt to sugar is added instead to preserve it grapes are dried and used to and used as dry grapes so you can see in this picture here grapes are dried and they are consumed as dry fruits or dry grapes so these two methods one is adding of salt or sugar and drying are two ways in which we can preserve food materials next list out the food stuff which are preserved by drying them i have given a list of five food items which can be preserved by drying them coconuts so dried coconuts or kobri can be used 
of figs, mangoes. So some people they like the taste of dried mangoes very much. Chilies. Instead of using fresh chilies, dried chilies can be used. And dates. Even dates can be dried and preserved. If you recall or if you can find out more food items which can be preserved by drying, you can add to this list. Let us move on to the next activity. So, fish, meat and milk are preserved by storing them at a very low temperature. So, this is called as cold storage. You might have seen that if there is a fridge in your houses, milk is usually stored in packets inside the fridge. When you go to shops to buy milk packets, they will give you from the fridge. Okay, so this is known as cold storage. For example, refrigerator or fridge like we, like we learnt is used for cold storing food materials. So, good food keeps us healthy physically and mentally. Food is the essence of life. To be healthy, it is important to protect ourselves by using good food. It is time for a quiz. The question is, list any two reasons why junk food should be avoided. So this is not a multiple choice question or a true or false question. You have to think about any two reasons why junk food is avoided and you have to write it in short answer. I have given two reasons. One, harmful chemicals are added to junk food during its preparation. Because junk food needs to be preserved for a long time and in order to increase the taste of the food, harmful chemicals are added. These are dangerous to the body. Next, the nutritional values of junk food is very less and it might also be zero. So, these are two reasons why we need to avoid junk food. Okay students, this is the end of part 2 of food. This concludes the lesson Food Essence of Life.